Hey guys, how's it going? Ghostly Rich here. So, today I'm going to show you the satellite gear. If you remember, it was in the glove box, but guess what? I moved it. I didn't like it in the glove box anymore. I think it was looking a little bit too messy with how, you know, my goal with the car is to make it look clean. So, what I ended up doing was, let's show you just in case you want to do it. So, first off, if you're picking it, if you just bought a serious module, I'm going to show you some wiring and stuff like that. So, this is what's going to happen. If you got a brand new radio and it says Sirius XM, make sure you, that you buy the Sirius XM uh, module because it's a heck of a lot easier to wire. The new one is just literally one wire and then you have to run an antenna. The old ones you had to run a power, ground, um, iBus connector, and that went to the first module. And then you had to run an iBus connector to another module and then it would connect there and then you'd have another uh, your antenna plug into the tuner and then go out. It was really crazy. The, old, the new one just plugs right into the back of the radio, comes out, you have to hide that, and then you run the antenna. Oh, that's it. There's no dealing with power or anything. It just plugs into the connector on the back of the deck. So, let's get started. First thing you want to do is this piece right here. Get under the lip and slowly pop it forwards. Do not touch this corner. Just go all the way over here. Once it's popped out just like that, then you're going to slip it like so. As you can see, there's your hook. That hook is the reason why you don't want to kind of force that. You want to be able to push it out like so. Now you'll have access to in here. If you need to pull out your stereo, you're going to drop these two screws to access the back of your stereo to plug the module in. If you don't have to access your stereo because you already have all your gear, who knows, you just have to pop out these two and I'll show you why we're going to go in through the glove box. Um, so once you pop these two, you're going to have to pop these, uh, your kicker guard right here which just pulls up and then right here there's probably a pin pop this pin out and this will pull forwards all right after you pop this forwards you're just gonna grab right here or somewhere in here you usually start here and this will pop since I've already pretty much got it popped I just have to do that once your glove box pops forwards you'll see a light bulb in here there will be a Phillips right here pull it out pull this out from that as you can see it's just wedged in there and then you can lift your glove box out of the way once we have our glove box lifted out of the way, if you have this radio out because you're hiding the one wire that goes to the module, you can always go through right here from the radio cavity or there's also an opening in the back which you can go through. Now if you got the older tuner as you can see here, I've got all my wiring going through here. It's uh, the power, the ground and the IBUS cable that goes to the first module which is over here. It's nice and hidden so I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Um, it's right where the zap strap is. I've got a zap strap nice in there And what happens is this now goes to here and I have the tuner up here All right now this is for the old gear if you have the new module you just have one of these connectors So all you have to do is plug that into the back of the deck run it over here And then you'll have to hide it in antenna now I'll tell you why this is the perfect spot for your module because right here Because you're gonna have to run it out of the car. There's a beefy grommet that's gonna go into your engine bay all you have to do is you could take a screwdriver, but be very careful. There is wiring in here that you do not want to cut with a screwdriver. If you have something else like a really long zap strap or something, it would be better to puncture through this and run it into the engine bay and then hide your antenna that way, whether you want to put it on the hood or run it all the way to the back, all right? So after you do this, you should have all the wiring you need. You can uh, Then you're just going to zap strap it up. So once you're done, uh, have the module somewhere over here or you could tuck it in right in here if you don't want it to go too far You can always tuck the module in zap strap it nicely I would uh, surround it with some foam just to make sure you don't get any rattle right unless you're putting it somewhere like this or over here Where I've done it because there's actual foam there So it's not gonna rattle because rattle will drive you nuts trust me um, So after you get all that done zap strapped in and you're looking clean like so you're good. Now, one thing to be mindful of is this is your fuse box. You want to be careful for what you're tying in up here. Make sure you got some good lengths if you do, so that way if you need to change a fuse and pop out the fuse box down below, you still have room, all right? Now, for running that antenna, when you're running it under the engine bay, uh, just be careful that you're not putting it, near, you know, zap strapping it to the engine or something because of engine movement. Try and find... Uh, you know, loomed wires and stuff like that. If you go along a uh, place where there's already loom on a wire, you're good. If you're running about my antenna placement, I've just got it on the back here. 
which is still easy enough, but it all depends on the kind of effort that you want to put through it. I know a lot of people would just put them right here because then you can run it along the window seal all the way down and into the engine bay. But yeah, or if you really want to, you could put it right here. I mean, there isn't a big deal with a lot of people stealing them these days. I remember back in the day, people, it's a big thing where kids were cutting them and collecting them. Don't ask me why. It seems kind of stupid to me, but yeah. Anyways, so that's basically it. If you have any questions, post in the comment section below. If uh, you want to see more of the car and what I've done to it and see how to like dismantle certain parts of the car, be sure to check out my channel. Subscribe if you want some updates. And of course, if you like the video, press the like button. Alright, thanks for watching and have a great day.